Hey, this is Gavin, and I'm just noticing some spirits. This morning I noticed the spirit of condemnation as I cast out a spirit in the name of Jesus and with the Holy Spirit for the will of God. I heard a voice that said, not good. And I recognize that voice because of Genesis 1. And in Genesis 1, you can notice that some things were good, some things were so. But at the end, it was very good. And so those are three categories that I like. That's so. It is so. It is good, but altogether it is very good. And so I cast out, or I asked in the name of God and in the name of Jesus and with the Holy Spirit, cast out the spirit of condemnation. And then today I went to social media and saw a post by Paul Vanderclay in which he notices the spirits and he likes to comment on the spirits. And he quoted a video in which protesters were in Washington, D.C., and a black man, filled with a spirit of anger, confronted the protesters. Some protesters had masks. Some had signs that said, End the Genocide in Gaza. And some, I could see a spirit of fear, you know, when you're wearing a mask and when you're kind of step back away from the angry black man and I could see the spirit of anger in this black man as he confronted people and said that that flag the Palestinian flag he said what he thought it represented and they held it up and they because they had an idea of what it meant in their mind and Paul Vanderclay commented on the confusion how there's he's seeing a spirit of confusion because there were people who saw the world one way but now the people are not behaving in a way which maps onto the world that they thought they knew and then he responded to his own post and said he noted a big white guy in the corner of the video that as that angry black man came up, the big white guy pulls out his phone. And then Paul Vanderclay <laughs> said that he liked the big white guy. He pulled out his phone, and then he gave it a quote. And he's kind of being a little funny. And it's like, just another day in Washington, how's the fantasy football team? And it's kind of funny when you imagine that that's what's in the mind of the white guy. But And I left the first time I rewatch the video with that idea in mind but I think this if I had been that big white guy I would have pulled up my phone because of a spirit of fear and the response to a spirit of anger uh, in which there is condom a spirit of condemnation and confrontation and I'd say on both sides is a spirit of pride thinking they know what's right and what's good and so there was a retreat into the phone, into the virtual land. And so in this virtual land with social media, there was an interaction with other people who are on this uh, corner of the Internet. One was named Manual Post, and the other is named Mark LaFaver. And they came in with the spirit of condemnation, uh, the spirit of accusation and the spirit of pride. A spirit of doubt. A spirit of, they had doubt in the power of God, that all of this is in God's hands. And when you have, when you don't have faith in God, I know from experience all these spirits, when you don't have faith in God, you, and especially when you're smart, which all of these men are, you may begin to believe that you have an idea that is right and good. And your idea may be 
in contradiction and in conflict with God's plan. And so I noticed that Paul Vanderclay, he's I'm trying to know his spirit, and it seems to be a spirit in which it's all in God's hands and which upholds Jesus and the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit. And he's lighthearted, and he can laugh. And then you have the spirit. There are spirits in manual post which accuse the spirit of accusation and make claims of authority, the spirit of pride, the spirit of arrogance, and the corresponding spirit which doubts the the power of God and claims that Manuel Post claims that there should be sadness. And then Mark Lefevre comes in and says that there should be mood policing because Paul Vanderclay had responded to Manuel Post and said, are we mood policing? Which is not a very good idea if you know God and you know that God is in your heart and can, and as you, as the unholy spirits go to war with you, you can feel a separation from God in your heart. And as you ask God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit to cast out those unholy spirits, you will feel a closeness and a getting closer to God, which comes with joy and peace and lightness. It is not heavy. It is not sad. It is not dark. And so Paul Vanderclay, with his, with his heart filled with Holy Spirit, is in a spiritual war with Manuel Post and Mark Lefevre and their spirit. These are spiritual brothers of mine, or spiritual brothers of the Gavin who died when, before he gave his life to Jesus, and before he asked Jesus to help cast out these spirits. Those spirits, they can be in believers and unbelievers. And the believers, you just have to, you have to ask. you got to ask in the name of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And the, with, with, the, with the Holy Spirit, you have to ask to have, and you name that unholy spirit and to have it removed. To have it cast out and cast off. And then you will feel closer to God. You will feel it in your heart. And you will come to know God better in your heart. And so Mark Lefevre, the last thing he said was that he made a claim that was not true. And he was trying to say that when you speak with the true, with authority, when you speak with authority, the true, the good, and the beautiful people are moved. And it's it's not, well, anytime we say anything, it's never completely true because the truth can't be captured in words entirely. And so it is partly true, but it's missing some things. And some of the things that Mark Lefevre was missing in that small tweet, which is understandable because there's a character limit and we're, use, we're restricted to using this language. And when we use this language, people might misinterpret the words we say, just like people might misinterpret what the meaning of a flag is. But when you speak, it is the spirit within you which comes out which can defile. And depending on, and we are all vessels for spirits, and when we receive what others say with their spirits, our response depends on the spirits which are within us. And so if you receive words and become sad, it says something about the spirits within you. If you receive words and become proud and arrogant and confident, it says something about the spirits within you. Yeah. And sometimes when you speak with authority and attempt to share what is true, good, and beautiful, you will get hung up on a cross and murdered. 
Some people will want to murder you, and some people will want to praise God. And so I'll end with a, some praise, and I would invite you to sing this song and witness what it can do in your life and share it with others. In the name of God, in the name of Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. And you just keep singing it. And if you like reggae, put on a reggae beat. If you're a reggae musician, you do that. Mm, mm, mm. And if you like electronica, do that. And if you like country, do that. No matter what genre you like, you can praise God. Hallelujah. And then you can know unconditional love the unconditional love that God has for everyone even your enemies no matter the spirits that inhabit that vessel God and Jesus have unconditional love for you and if you attempt to do God's will with the Holy Spirit and serve the King of Kings Jesus then you will have that experience and you will be able to cast out those unholy spirits in their name in the name of Jesus and God and with the Holy Spirit and then you will know God in your heart and you will be closer to God